This last quarter for us has been absolutely record breaking and has been fantastic that we've had the privilege of having 12 offers in total that we've been able to present to vendors. Four of those have been within the construction arena, as well as three of them within the food manufacturing and distribution. An additional one was in the alcohol distribution sector, as well as the rest of those being in the hospitality arena. What we've seen is the buyer demand has been so much higher this last quarter and buyer confidence in the market has increased dramatically. I feel that the buyer confidence has definitely returned to the market and it's slowly increasing. In the hospitality space predominantly, there's purchases out there that are wanting to buy businesses based on the goodwill. That goodwill component is a really big factor in the business's sale. Our marketing strategy alone we've found has worked brilliantly over the last quarter. So we really sat down and had a look at what we were doing and how we can update that and innovate it to make it better for our vendors and better for our businesses. And I think that's a big reason of why we've been so successful in collecting these offers and having these businesses under offer. The buyers are a lot quicker to pull the trigger now in a post-COVID market, which has been a great position to be in for those vendors. On the back of a really strong first quarter that we've had for this year, it's we're really excited because all the deals that we've got under offer, we expect to settle pre-financial year. And I feel that all the buyer inquiries, even in the last two weeks, everyone's got that same goal of wrapping up their deals pre-June 30, which has been fantastic for us. Our buyer inquiry at the moment is highest for my database is sitting with food manufacturing buyers at the moment. It's a very, very hungry sector, as well as the healthcare and software space. These new listings coming to market are all vendors that we've been speaking to sort of six months ago. And that was really during the pandemic and when COVID was still a really big thing during the market. And it was more a conversation that we had where it was, okay, right now your figures aren't looking fantastic. Let's leave it six months and see how we come out on the other side of COVID. Now, leaving that six months gap has led businesses to look financially a lot better, but operationally they were able to get their systems in place for it to look a lot more attractive and a lot more manageable for incoming buyers. So we're seeing um, new listings in food manufacturing, food distribution, hospitality, and in construction really. We're, we've got a lot coming to market in the next three months.